Hillary Clinton's campaign manager, Robbie Mook, joins us from the campaign's headquarters in Brooklyn, New York. Good morning. Good morning. Let's start with the obvious. Uh, does this announcement by the FBI director have any impact on this campaign in the waning moments? I don't think so. You know, we're, we're grateful that this matter is resolved now. We found it very puzzling, as you know, when Director Comey first brought this up a week ago. I don't know why they couldn't have resolved this behind the scenes and uh, and, and avoided all of this ruckus. But it's over now. Uh, we're in the we're in the closing argument, and I'm proud to announce that Secretary Clinton uh, will be making a closing argument in a two-minute spot that's going to be airing this evening, uh, so the American people can uh, can make their final choice. Here is the argument the Republicans are making across the board, that he has, uh, in the waning moments, enthusiasm and momentum. You know, uh, th those are subjective terms. Uh, we we <laughs> think we have those on our side as well. What I know we have as well are, is record turnout. Uh, Latino and Asian American uh, turnout has doubled in Florida and North Carolina. Uh, and most importantly for us, uh, a third of the Asian American and Latino voters that are turning out in that surge in Florida didn't even vote in 2012 and 2014. Our campaign, through hard work to register and turn out voters, has mobilized brand new people that are are coming into the process in droves. You feel confident you will win the state of Florida? Uh, it's too early to say that yet, and that's why it's so important that all of our supporters uh, turn out. But we think across the country, through our efforts to build that ground game, register people to vote, and turn them out, that, that we've established a lead in some states that uh, Donald Trump can't, can't, Robbie, can't overcome. Does Robbie. that include Ohio? Uh, you know, again, uh, well, Ohio is actually an interesting case because uh, about two thirds of the voters vote on election day, so I think it's way too early to tell there. But again, our supporters need to turn out absolutely everywhere. We think that's that's vital, and and we're not going to count our uh, chickens before they're hatched. Well, everybody's supporters need to turn out today or in tomorrow of all days. But let's talk about Michigan. Hillary Clinton is in Michigan today. President Obama is in Michigan today. People are wondering why are you all sending your top people there, considering that Michigan is such a blue state. What are you seeing that's, that clearly must be concerning you guys at this time? Well, Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, these are all states where we built an intensive ground game since the beginning. Um, we're focused in our schedule right now on those states that are predominantly election day voting states. So New Hampshire, Pennsylvania, Michigan is certainly one of those. We talked about Ohio, where two-thirds vote on election day. So that's really a strategic choice uh, that we've made on the campaign. Will the rise in uh, Latino voting be offset by the decline in African-American support? You know, As we're compared not seeing... to President Obama. Yeah, we're just not seeing that. Actually, we're, we're really proud uh, that African Americans are supporting Secretary Clinton at the same rate uh, as President Obama. We're seeing in Florida, in particular, African American turnout is up uh, from 2012. Uh, so they're an essential part of our coalition. Secretary Clinton has worked very hard to earn the support of the African American community. Uh, her first uh, policy speech was on criminal justice reform. She hasn't been afraid to speak out about systematic racism in this country. Uh, and we're going to continue to work hard to remind all of our supporters to turn out. Robbie, thank you so much. Thank you.